Hello and welcome back to Bloodlust Shadow Hunter. We have to go kill some zombies because we need to get somewhere. Our quest log slash journal thing is just flashing like just crazy. Uh, I am pressing the wrong buttons and here we go. There we go. We have to go and find his bag and we will get some experience for it and maybe even learn a spell. That's my theory anyway. Let's examine this barrel. There's nothing in this barrel. How can there be nothing? Oh, I think I looted it before. Anyway. Let's go this way, there's a zombie over there. Hello, zombie, how are you doing today? Not very well, because... Did you just get one shot? No, you didn't. I was hoping I one shot you, but, but I really didn't. Stop hitting me so hard, that's not very nice. You're not supposed to hit people hard. Now, I am a vampire, after all. You should just sort of... Just be okay with that. And, uh, you don't seem to be. Did he have any loot? I got some wolf fur, some minor life force. I'm not sure what any of this stuff does. I mean... Where is my thirst being shown? Okay, I've got the menu, I've got the journal, I've got the map, I've got my inventory, and I've got my skills. That's the inventory. What about my character? Okay, I can see my thirst right there. It's 80 out of 100. What happens when I get really, really thirsty? You know, when I'm absolutely just 100% parched? What happens? There's another zombie over there. Apparently zombies glow blue. Um, makes them easier to see, I guess. And I want to go to the left, actually. Sorry, zombie, not today. You'll have to die another day. Yeah! Uh, that was a 007 reference, I think. Oh, it's just been so long since I've watched those movies, I, I don't remember. It's been a very, very long time. And we've got some more blue glowing stuff. Are those plants moving? Those plants are totally moving. Secret area. Use vampire's gaze skill to shoot the orb under the wall then use the mouse to control and trigger the head switch. Okay, I'm keeping that up because I'm not quite sure. Okay, so I have to... Okay, uh... Or, oh, okay, okay, okay. Is that a... that's a leech. That is just yuck. That is difficult to hit, apparently. So, vampire's gaze? I have no... oh, the head! Okay, this is the head, I'm guessing. Oh, fantastic! That was great! That was really cool. What, what did that do? I have no idea what it did. Um, okay, I, I thought that I had to like turn the orb into my head or something, but when I saw the head it just made sense. What did that do? Right click to activate on? What, what does that do? Oh! Ah, it opens this! That's cool! Didn't notice, thank you. Alright. Disarm the trap. I didn't even see the trap. I was ow! I just exploded. Ow! My shoes. I think like it just exploded all over my shoes. Just um, yeah. I no longer have shoes anymore. They've been incinerated. And it's ooh ah ooh yuck! Getting attacked by a leech. Look, I am the only blood-sucking parasite around here, around these parts, bud. Yeah, that's what you get when you're, when you're a pathetic leech. Where was I? Alright, can I dual wield daggers? Can't die? I can't. Okay, which one of these daggers is better? Can I shift? No, I can't. Okay, so this one has durability. Ooh, we have durability. 9 out of 10. Attack 3 to 7. I'm guessing damage, and it's got 2.0 times speed. This one's faster, and its attack damage is. So I'm guessing that's better. Fantastic! Alright, we can't dual wield, unfortunately. We want our flashlight so that we can see in the dark. Oh, jump to the lead. Oh, nice! Vampires are awesome. Okay, so apparently I can just instantly see that it's trapped. I'm not entirely sure how, but I just can. And I think my disarm trap skill is terrible. So let's disarm this and fail. Please don't fail. Oh, I just got poisoned. Ow. So it's a bag of jewels, and a bag filled with jewels. Oh no wait, the bag of jewels is a bag filled with jewels. Fair enough! That makes more sense. I was, I was getting very confused there. So I did get poisoned, and oh, okay, that was the bag. And oh, okay, that was, uh, that was easier than expected, but we have just begun the game. I mean, it is very early on, so it kind of makes sense that it would start off reasonably easy. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's a zombie down there, but look at that sky! Storms brewing. There's a storm brewing out there. Hello, zombie. How are you? I, I think my special attack just straight up missed. Come on, there we go. Special attacks for the win. I like special attacks. It's a very 
very cool looking. And over here, we have... The guy should be over there on the other side. I like how far you can jump and stuff as a vampire. Like, that's kind of one of the things vampires are supposed to have super agility, which just makes them even more awesome. Okay, let's talk have to you. Have you found my bag yet? Okay, I could lie, but, um... Thanks. Yeah, it's not Since you helped me out, I guess I could teach you secret sight. It's a skill that helped me find a few fragments, and it might help you find whatever you're looking for, too. Sure, thanks. There you go. Give that a try. In fact, I think there's a secret wall over there behind me. Okay. Um... Where is secret sight? Okay. Six button. What did that do? Okay. Ah. Nice. So this secret sight allows me to see um, hidden things. Is this how I'm going to detect traps in the future? Back up and use vampire's gaze skill to control an orb with the mouse. Try to fly up and through the wall to trigger the lever. Okay. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Remember, you can turn this thing on and off if you want to. I, I like it being on because otherwise I would not have seen that. Can I just hit the lever? Sweet! Use secret sight to exit. That's just kind of creepily written on the wall. And, oh, look at that. Whoa. Ow! Jeez. That was a little bit, that was a little bit intense. I was not expecting to be one shot. I did actually back away. If you look at like, sort of like do a slow-mo instant replay. I did try to back away, like, I took like one step back, but I'd really triggered it, and then it just smacked me in the face, and it was painful. Um, so, yeah. And, oh, look at that. Whoa. last saved game. Where am I? Okay, I was over here. That's where I last saved. I need to save more often. I had no idea that traps are just going to utterly own me. Just totally and utterly just crush me to death horribly and painfully. Zombies are naked, apparently. They, they can't wear clothes. They're incapable of wearing clothes. Bad, bad zombies. Nude zombies. Beware the power of nude zombies. Yeah, the uh, developer did kind of warn me that they're are traps and the, the traps hurt. So have you found my bag yeah. yet? Yeah, I found your bag. Thanks. Since you helped me out, I guess. I'm... There you go. All right. Give that a try. Ciao. And now let's save the game. Very easy to save. I mean, it's like you just press F1, nice and easy. And let's use secret site, and then let's open the door. Goodbye, tip. And let's go through here again. And then let's just keep saving. There's just like loads and loads of saving. Can I disable the secret sight? Adjusting eyes back to normal sight. Wait, does this let me see in the dark? I don't even know at this point. I don't know what's going on. What does that do? Okay. I don't know. Whoa! I see what you did there. I see that. Wait, can I see the trap with this on? No, I can't. I can't see it. Okay. So let's save again and then not stand on that. Some pressure plates activate traps that can do extensive damage. Well, gee, thanks! Can I jump over that? If I miss it, I'm dead. Alright, we can do this. I think we can do this. You ready, you ready, you ready, ready? Ah! Woo! We did it! Something is triggered. We have no idea what. Let's just open that chest. Oh, we got a couple of flashlights. On 2% ba- Wow. Not very helpful. Why would you even just, like, stick flashlights in a chest? with such little amounts of battery power on them. Come on, we got this. Are you ready? Ah! Ooh, wow. I am so scared of that. Wait, did I just close this thing behind me? Hey, that's not fair. Okay, can I... I can actually just use my vampire's gaze. I don't know why I've been jumping across that like a total noob. Just being a noob. A newbie noob. And then... Oh, right, you shot it over that thing. Okay, right, let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. I kind of like the puzzles in this, mainly because I'm being told how to do them. <laughs> Makes them a lot better. Ooh, there we go. Hello. Oh, hello there, Mr. Pressure Plate. Uh, we meet again. We meet again, Pleasure P pleasure Plate. Beware the Pleasure Blades. They're delicious and yet dangerous at the same time. Can I... I wonder if I... Can my, can my eyeball pick this up? No. And what happens if my eyeball triggers the lever? Can I, can I do that? What does that do? 
No, 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 don't do that. Don't, no, oh. Wait, did I actually go into that room? No, I didn't. Okay, just making sure. I'm getting a little bit confused here. So, don't use the lever, because there's no reason to use the lever. And we want that shadow orb. Okay, come on, we can do this. Alright, you ready? Of course you're ready, let's do this. Ugh! Fantastic, we got the fragment, and we got a talent points. I think we leveled up as well, nice! This putting points into intelligence is doing very, very well. We're doing well. We're doing exceptionally well. We're going to have to be very, very careful with all of these um, talent points. Uh, that's not the one that I want. I've got some points to spend. Let's put some into strength. I like putting them into intelligence. And some dexterity. No, let's go with vitality. So we've got strength, vitality, and intelligence. Okay, and let's get open the character menu. I like skill points. What talents can I get? Um, living lies, plus 5% to evade. Follow your bloodlust into battle with, while deceiving the enemy's perception. Requirements not met. Talents in crow's claw required. Oh, these are the top tier ones. So you start at the bottom. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Secret pockets, extra inventory page, create two additional inventory pages of space to carry more items, that sounds nice and handy. Scent of swiftness, 2% increased run speed, and stamina regen. I am actually, I am, hmm, I'm not sure whether putting, getting intelligence is really worth it. You know, maybe, I'm not sure whether these talents are really good enough to justify putting the points into intelligence rather than strength. Uh, but we'll see. We'll figure it out as we go along. So we've got a choice between one of these three. So we've got 5% stam regen, run speed, or we can have more inventory. Let's go with inventory. I'm not sure whether that's going to be helpful yet, but we will find out. Is he dead? He's not dead. He's fine. He's totally fine. Let's pretend he's fine. If, if he's dead, um, you know what? Let's just stick our head in the sand. Ooh, we got some boots. And we have... Um, potion thingy. Let's equip these boots. A little bit more armor. And they're just so unbelievably stylish. I really like this sort of cloak. It's very vampire matrixy. I just love that scene when Neo's walking in and he's got the cloak and lots and lots of guns. Okay, let's activate this lever. Does that open any other walls? No, it doesn't. It's a very, very tragically horrible and pathetic lever. Save again. Getting ready to run. Getting ready to run and jump! We did it. Okay, we're cool. Secret site required to exit. Where am I? Uh, there's a bag over there, and there's another zombie over there. Okay. Walter's over there, just randomly just staring at a wall like, Are you loot? You could be loot. I'll take you down brick by brick, and then I'll give my master the bricks. Um, that's not really what I meant by loot. Try to find things that might be valuable. Um, yeah. Or just stand next to the pond. I don't really mind. Either way, I'm totally cool. Totally cool with it. The wolf's den seems to be over there. I, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. I am in the courtyard. I'm not sure how to get into the wolf's den. I did get into this secret area. I might not actually be... I think that this might not be the wolf's den. Um, let's go... What happens if I talk to you? Hey, thanks. Also, if you need any lockpicks or keys... Okay, so not particularly helpful there. Not anymore, anyway. You did teach me a secret sight, and for that, I thank you. But now, can I, can I jump up? Nope, I can't jump up. Let's check the map again. The wolf's den is over there. It's behind the pond, apparently. It would seem to be behind the pond. Oh, wait, secret sight. Can I... Is there something I can open? Wait, what's, the, what's down? Oh, wow. Nice. Okay, I can get it through there. I think. Let's just disable that so I can see better. Alright. That yeah, didn't work. Come on. That's not working. Okay. So let's not do that because that doesn't work. And let's see if we can find this. I have no idea where it's going to be. Oh, wait, what if it's up there? Could it be up there? No, I can't go up fast enough. Ah. <laughs> oh well. So the wolf it says the wolf's den is over there though. I wanna get the wolf's den. Hmm. 
the statue of knives, the leech lair, there's like zombies and zombies and lots and lots of zombies. Okay, oh, there's a door over there. Let's go through the door. Come on. Jumping is awesome. Okay, we need a lockpick. Let's unlock this door. Whatever. Let's see what's behind this door. What's behind? Door number three and it failed. And now we have no lockpicks. Yeah. That was not very productive. What about... Is this going to be too high? I think it's going to be too high. Yep, it's too high. Let's go back to the zombie area, maybe. Yeah, let's go there. Let's see if we can find anything. Because I want to get to be able to trade with the vendors. I think that might come in handy. This is an RPG after all. That could be quite handy. Hello, zombie. Do you, do you have any loot for me today? No, you don't. You are a very... S oh, whoa! Ooh. I'm, I'm learning. I'm getting there. Like I, Before, I would have st stepped onto that plate, but no more. Where is that? Usually you can actually see where the thing comes out of. Let's save. And can I... Can I activate a pressure plate with this? I want to see what it does. Fine, let's just not step on it then. Um, where is it though? I want to know what it does. My curiosity is going to make me kill myself. Backstab susceptible. Ooh, let's use this ability where I have like stupidly high attack speed. There we go, look at that, that's awesome. Not enough stamina. Anything over here? Don't seem to be any traps. That door is tricky and won't stay open. But there is a way. Shoot vampires' gaze into the doorway and then step off the plate right before you trigger the lever. Okay, so these pressure plates. Not only do they, like, set off traps, but you're actually going to have to stand on them. You have no choice but to stand on them at some points. Ooh, this could get very dangerous. So I guess you're just going to have to be very observant and hope that you don't... What am I doing with the vampire's gaze? I don't know. I don't see any... Le oh, lever! Aha! Hello! Got you. Fantastic. And the zombies just respawned, so... Guess who's going to get owned? Because I have seriously awesome talents. Ooh, got some loot. Uh, do, does it say anywhere where I'm getting the loot? I don't don't see where I'm don't see where I'm picking up or what I'm picking up or whatever. And disarm a trap. We still have to find wolves, by the way. Notes. Ah, reads. Place a knife into the chest. I see. Okay, and this blade is the same as the one I actually have equipped. What if... how do I... Come on, how do I... No, I want, I'm trying to put it into the chest. I looted everything. There we go. Aha! That's pretty cool. But there was already a knife in the chest, so I'm, I'm, it's just sort of cool with me taking that and moving on. Whoa, watch where I'm standing. Let's turn off the light again. And there's another trap. I am... My disarm trap skill seems to be terrible. What what do I have to put into what to get that? So we've got shadow weed herb. Puzzle note. Blocks must add up to seven. Dun dun dun. And a belt. Let's equip the belt. Whoops. Wrong button. And let's equip that belt. There we go. We are now wearing a belt. We're being all very stylish. Our pants will not fall down. And now we have to ask ourselves the question we are all wondering, that just amazing question that haunts us all every day of our lives, am I wearing pants? Um, and indeed, what does this lever do? That closes that. Okay, let's try not to have that happen. Now what do I do? Wait, the blocks must add up to seven. The blocks must add up to seven? Oh, I see. Oh, nice. And it even tells you what it's set to, just so that you kind of know what's going on. Alright, so they're now set to three. Can we set... Is there... There we go, we can have three. And... Three plus four equals seven. So, let's just have another three. There we go. All done, and the door has opened! I love these... Whoa. I need to watch where I'm stepping more carefully. Everything has a trap! They really love their traps in this game. Ow! That hurt. 
Not very much, though. That's a very big knife. Okay, we've got an emerald, and we have a key to unlock gates. All right. And, oh wow. This is apparently very, very good. Let's equip that straight away. That's an amazing knife. Straight away, that's a very nice knife. I find it a little bit strange that... Oh, look, it's not even like... That's not even a... That's not a knife. That's a sword. It kind of reminds me in Croc Dundee when um, he steps outside the... I'm guessing it's an opera or something. I can't really remember. But he steps outside and the uh, guy says, you know, give me your wallet. Give, give him your wallet. Give him your wallet. You know, he's got a knife. So he looks at it and it's like a... Maybe like a four-inch blade. And he says, that's not a knife. Shing! This. This is a knife. And this kind of reminds me of that scene, because this, this is a knife! Whoa! It's huge! That's what she said. Um, we have another zombie with glowing eyes this time. He refuses to glow blue. He stands out from his brethren. And as I said that, he was like, okay, I'm cool with going back to glowing blue. Just, just don't kill me. Would you not kill me if I glow blue? Would you do that for me, please? Please, would you be nice? Okay, so I still need to talk with the ancient something. Oh, wow! Did I only need one wolf pelt? I think I only needed one wolf pelt. I'm so used to it being, you know, go collect 15 wolf pelts that I think I missed the point completely. We have skills to spend. Shadow Flame. Summon magic power to freeze enemies, preventing them from following you. Okay, we can use sprints. I don't really want to get sprints. I don't want to. Let's get that one. Add a point to the spirit summon because pets are awesome. I like pets. Pets are cool. Just walking some exploding barrels. Just disarming these traps with my my own body. Just sort of that that's professional right there. You disarm traps by activating them intentionally. Just just mind blowingly professional. Right there. Ooh, I am amazed by your door. Was this did it, did it come with the place, or did you kind of have it installed later? Because that is a very big door. And the door handle's a little bit low. I mean, you'd have to be kind of short for that to be at an adequate height. I mean, this guy's kind of crouching and bending forward at the same time. So, keep in mind, that is a very, very low door. Door handle, plate, pressure thingy, whatever that is, it, it's low. Hello, you. Did you find some blood wolf fur? Yeah. If the quality is okay. Perhaps we can. You sort of helped me out. I suppose I could let okay. you shop in my store if you want. Okay. I can sell a green roach. It says it's a rare insect. So I don't really know what's going on right there. Alright. So I have a key that I'm not going to sell. I have a diamond that I can sell, I suppose. You can sell the notes as well. That's pretty handy. How do I sell? Do I right click to sell? Or left click? Left click. Okay. I now have 11 lockpicks, apparently. I am not going to sell any of those. And I'm going to keep those books, because I might need them. I'm going to sell these gems, because I don't know if I can use them. Let's keep the shadow weed for now. And let's see what you have for sale. Do you have armor? Light resistance. Oh, that's cool. Hats give you light resistance. That's amazing. I like that. Oh, there we go. The question you have to ask yourself. Am I wearing pants? I am not. I'm not wearing pants. I have no pants, so you can get jeans to increase your armor with uh, nine dollars or gold coins. Gold translates into dollars quite well, apparently. And can I get a hat? Ooh, your hats are very pricey, Miss. I, I think I'll skip the hats for now. Goodbye. I'm cool with just with not being naked anymore. I now have pants. Go me. I am so professional. I have pants! Woohoo! You jealous? You jelly? You jelly of my pants? You should be jelly of my pants. What happens if I activate hey, it's pretty good with that skill. Oh. This guy this guy's been examining it for ages. I use one ability and it's like, hey, would you look at that? <laughs> Vampire's gaze skill is very important. Let's go back to saving again and adjusting eyes to normal sight. I just pressed the wrong button. I am using vampire's gaze just to see what's going on here. Uh, doesn't seem to be any traps. I don't see any traps. I'm probably going to get mauled. It's just like a billion arrows going to shoot out and, and kill me horribly in just ways that you cannot even imagine. Gold, rusty knife, and some lock picks. That's nice. I do like getting lock picks. Let's go over here. 
Hello there. Are you, are you okay there? You, you fine, man? Of course you're fine. And let's open this door. What's behind door number one? A vampire. I am a vampire. Oh, you thought you put me to sleep permanently, did you? Wait, did I did I kill him? He was a very ugly, like really. I think I, I'm I'm doing quite well in terms of looks for the vampires so far. I just got a top hat, which not only increases your persuasion because everyone's like, oh my gosh, he's got a top hat. He must know what he's talking about. Whoa! And it also gives me light resistance. Look at that. I'm now wearing a top hat. That's fantastic. Look at that. I'm wearing a top hat. You can't see it because I'm in the dark. There we go. Look at that top hat. Isn't it beautiful? Of course it's beautiful. And let's open that door. Anything over there? Oh, it's that thing that turns you to stone. It looks very strange, doesn't it? Very, very strange looking thing. Okay, let's, um, let's save. Okay, saving, 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 saving. Turn around and look at it. Hi, you gonna turn me into stone? Let's talk with the what head. Do you need, How do I get out of here? Go talk with the statue of the ancients. He is behind the gate where you first found me. Okay, I, I feel like I'm, it's kind of weird that I'm giving this head with 450 health and way more levels than myself and is just so a easily able to kill me. I find it strange that I'm giving him orders. Um, that's a nice talking head. You you, you don't kill me. Um, please just try and keep it that way, if possible. be much appreciated. And we have a wolf tooth. Bloody tooth from wolf. Oh, that reminds me. What is... Oh, my thirst is getting... It's getting quite bad. I'm going to have to nom nom on somebody soon. Oh, there's a guy back there that I can quickly munch on. Just sort of suck out some blood. Be a mosquito for a second. I saw a, it's telling me there was a breakable wall. Where is that guy? Where'd that guy go? Hey! I found a wall for you and you just disappeared? That does not sound nice. I only wanted to drink your blood. It's not like I was going to do something horrible. You may even turn into a vampire. Does that not sound like a fantastic thing to have happen? Of course it does. It sounds amazing. Why wouldn't you want that to happen? Where is this guy? Sense of vampire golem near. Okay. Whoa! Okay, that looks a little bit intense. Uh, let's see if we can do this. Just popped up. Did he just one-shot me? I feel like he's one-shotting me. Just, 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 you stay there, I'm good. Come on, can we? We can't take this guy, let's be honest. No, nope, he's running back. No, he's not running back. What is he doing? I don't I don't know what he's doing. Could you just go, crow? Sick him. Kill him. Go go kill him. He's way too powerful. I can't take him on. Go get him, crow. What are you doing? Don't come back here. You're you flying. He's only smashing the ground. What is what's that gonna do to you? Could you all that Oh nice. Sweet. Oh fantastic! We just turned this vampire golem into stone. Well, he turned the vampire golem into stone, and then we one-shot him. He didn't have any loot on him, though. He did give us some experience. 435 EXP, not bad. And we can just break this wall over here. Back up and shoot vampire's gaze. Okay, there we go. Through the hole in the wall. Fantastic. I like these puzzles. And there's a little lever just sort of lying over there. I'm waiting for it to for a room to have like five levers in it, and just you you try you press one lever with the vampire's gaze and you get killed. You press another lever and you get killed, and there's like that one lever hiding in the corner. And if you use that lever, then you don't die. Okay, we've got the sort of flame spewing snake things. All right, yeah, got it. Another fragment. You can drink from the fountain. Max life force. Okay, I'm not sure what that did, but fair enough. I'm sure it was fantastic. I We are getting really thirsty. We actually have some stuff in our inventory. Let's just quickly um, drink some blood wine. There we go, we got 25 units of blood, that's nice. Alrighty. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I hope you're enjoying so far. 
I kind of like these puzzles. I think they're very nice. And I like the fact that he turned them to stone and then just I could one shot them. That was cool. I like that. He's not you're not so bad for a talking head. Very very creepy talking head. Goodbye. Ciao.